I don't remember where the prison is. Is it this way? I think it might be this way. Oh okay, yeah, there's this wacko over here. These things have greetings, child. I've met few aside from goblins here. You recognize the scourge. This man is a follower of Leviata, goddess of pain. Ah. Are you also here to assist with the prisoner? The gentleman being held next door. My acquaintance is working on him, I believe. While I was thrilled to be invited here, I must confess I find the goblins and their methods crude and primitive. Pain without purpose is a terrible thing. Wouldn't you agree? Forgive me, but that look in your eyes, something terrible has happened to you. Do not be ashamed, child. What I see in your eyes in your soul is only natural. We've all suffered in these dark times. It is little wonder you bear scars of pain and anguish. Please, let me alleviate this pain. As the Maiden of Pain, the Goddess Loviata teaches us, through penance, administered by my skilled hand. My work can grant peace and serenity, the likes of which few experience. It will be worth it. I promise. Go ahead. I'm sure you're in need of a little penance. This man is of common stock. Only the poorest of men need settle for the spectacle of their own gore. Oh, I have something exquisite in mind. Both Loviata and I are interested in how you handle pain, dear one. And should you delight her, you will most assuredly receive her most gracious blessing. Trust me. Simply face the wall, and we can begin. Face the wall, and let us begin, dear one. Yes, this will do nicely. The pain you suffer will cleanse you. Do not fight it. You 
want more? As you wish, dear one. Would you have joined up with him if you'd known he'd be indulging in this sort of thing, Astarian? I mean, I had my hopes. <laughs> wonderful! Just wonderful! <laughs> wonderful! You want more? I'll give it to you. My, my. Who knew our friend had so much blood in them? Better not let too much be spilled. As much as I'm enjoying the show, we may still need him afterwards. Sweet child, you bore the pain like a true believer. I am proud to have served you this penance. Oh, as did I, dear one. Lovieta herself found your performance inspiring. She has deemed you worthy of her blessing. And on a personal note, thank you. That was positively divine. Looks like that's going to bruise. Hmm. That actually seems pretty useful. Yes. I must try this technique. Or perhaps this one. Looking at okay, me. my dumbass finally found the door to the board. Right. What would some drow wizard in Moonride? Something. Or, or at the bollocks, will ya? I'm itching to. See? It squealed! <laughs> it's it again! Keep your hands steady, three. <clears throat> again! Again! Make it squeal again. I didn't really want it right here. Oh, okay. Wish I got a turn at the bear. Cape. Again! Again!
stayed close. Legs protrude from the hole. A failed escape, it seems. It seems the tunnel collapsed mid dig and suffocated him. A crooked heart is embroidered on his left shoe. The body comes loose, revealing a tunnel. Perhaps you can escape where he failed. path. Moving. <sighs> Pardon the viscera. One should cherish all of nature's bounty, but goblin guts are quite far down the list. You aided a bear without knowing if it would savage you. <laughs> a true friend of nature. Or perhaps a lunatic. Either way, I owe thanks. I am the druid Halson. Yes, but just Halson will suffice. I'm becoming to demand honorifics from the one who saved my hide. Indeed. Well, not the most opportune moment, but given the lengths you went to, I assume there's some urgency. Come on then, what's the problem? Unless you'd rather wait for an audience of goblins. Father, preserve you, child. You're infected, aren't you? The mind flares spawn. But something's different. You're aware of the monster inside you. You don't bow to the absolute like the true souls do. How is this possible? Perhaps. But I wouldn't want to place all my faith in blind luck. You weren't speaking lightly when you said you needed help. Let me tell you what I know. I've been studying these parasites for a while now. Ever since I discovered these so-called true souls are infected with them, someone is using very powerful magic to modify these tadpoles. They're using them to exert control over the infected. I'm sorry to say, I can't undo that magic, which means I can't cure you. But that doesn't mean I can't help. I didn't find what I came here for, a way to remove the tadpoles. But I found the next best thing. I found out where they come from. That must be where these enchantments are placed on them. And it's where you'll find your cure. I overheard that the cultists are sending all of their captives to Moonrise Towers. Innocents go in, true souls come out. Given that all of these true souls are infected, it has to be the source for this magic. If you want to find a cure, you must head there and discover how the tadpoles are being manipulated. I wish I could, but there's still work I've yet to finish. Blood I've yet to spill. I have no right to ask more of you, but if you could help me, I'd be free to join your journey to Moonrise. I cannot allow these butchers to threaten my grove. The natural order must be protected. 
my thanks. If you prevail, I'll owe you the debt of a lifetime. Rare is the beast that survives decapitation. Help me eliminate the drow Minthara, the hobgoblin draw Ragslin, and that perversion of a priestess, Gut. They are the ones holding these parasites together. Remove them, and nature will cure itself. There is no safety. Not while this rot festers. Once it is cut out, once the grove is secure, then I shall leave. May Sylvanus guide your hand. Focus on the leaders. That's all it will take to restore the balance here. Have a lot on my mind. And, well, in it. You touch this new What path lies before me? What's next, I wonder? I've got a long road ahead. These boots have seen everything. Blueprints for some devilish weapons. Mm. Our friend was a fine blacksmith. with the weave. Stranger, quietly. I told, I told you, you to, to go. go. <laughs> mm. There's death in your scent, but not in your words. Still, Still you should go. My friend is injured. He needs rest. Of course he will. And then we'll return home. He calls me Scratch. You can do the same. No, I won't leave him. If it comes to that, I may. Thank you. A feast fit for an ogre. You notice a peculiar dagger protruding from the tough, leathery meat. Your cautious method pays off. The dagger glides smoothly out of the mystery meat. No time to rest. I'll take that. Can't slow down.
something tore right through this. Stand a chance. Breathe quiet. Move with care. At the ready. Making a break for it. Oh, boy. Okay, yeah, this might be... I don't know how easy this one's gonna be. these days. get you. You know what? I don't I don't care what to do. Do you feel as flattered as I do? Fight it to dine with a devil. <laughs> oh 
Don't let his bluster fool you. All that talk of desperation merely illustrates his own. I think he wants something from us, badly. And in that knowledge lies our opportunity. Our souls. I suspect that's but his opening offer. Let me play the devil's advocate. The man is too eager. Do not dismiss his offer out of hand. If there's one quality all the denizens of the hells embody, it's ambition. Quality they share with many humans, come to think of it. Hmm. I'm the foggiest. But, based on the evidence before us, we can make certain deductions as to why he sought out our merry band. Fact one, there's something very strange and very powerful about our tadpoles. Fact two, a devil offers to take it away. Devils aren't known to aid mortals out of simple kindness. Whatever Raphael wants, we must be the key to getting it, along with our tadpoles. So, I say for now, we wait. If I'm right, Raphael will seek us out again, and when he does, there's a mighty bargain to be made. Remember his Cormirian rhyme? Down came the claw. Perhaps we should start growing our nails. Light on my feet. What's in here? Okay, I'm about to do a little cheating right here, but whatever. Okay, let's save. Soul to fight. You picked the wrong fight, friend. Let me work my magic. Can't afford to stay idle. With ease. Oh, what hit him. The mission has to come first. Can't even catch my breath.
right. She's a thief, Hellspawn. And you will wait for Corga's judgment. Now get back! Oh, let me through, Mradrashev, or I'll rip your damn throat out! <gasps> Give him a chance. You, get back. Keep back. Force my hand and I'll show you its claws. A moment, Giona. What? Oh, I understand. You. Apparently, Korga wants to see you. Go ahead. Thank you. 